before we get to the nub of real leadership, proper leadership, authentic leadership, there is one other issue that I wish to raise because it is topical at the moment. It relates to the current trendy notion that not one person leads but a team leads. Leadership is some kind of collegiate or federal thing. It's trendy to debunk the notion of the cult of leadership, that there must be a leader who everyone follows. Now, obviously, most of my work is with leadership teams. So, in other words, I'm not dealing with one person. I'm dealing with a team of people, but they are a team of leaders. In other words, they are all leaders in their own right, leading their part of the organisation, but they, in turn, need to be led. Any psychologist who has any half an idea about how the human mind doesn't work will understand that the notion that a group of people can lead themselves is ridiculous to put it mildly. Because the normal human mind is literally all over the place, it would be reasonable to say that in a leadership team of, say, six to eight people, there are six to eight different versions of reality that sometimes barely touch each other. Somebody needs to pull all that together. The point I'm making is that, yes, teams can lead together. Leadership teams are teams of leaders who go and lead their own teams. But ultimately, there is a leader, and that leader's vision, that leader's presence, that leader's ability to treat others as proper human beings by being a proper human being himself or herself, cascades down to the other leaders who in turn are proper leaders, authentic leaders, proper human beings themselves who treat others further down the organisation in a proper human and authentic way too. The point I'm making is that leadership is an individual thing. A team of leaders together are individual leaders doing that individual thing together in harmony for the greater good in moving the organisation towards the achievement of its vision. And if they're doing it right, they'll be having fun and they will be doing it effortlessly. Now, if that does not sound like your organisation or your business at this moment in time, then you are doing something wrong. Nothing to worry about because we're all only human. And unfortunately, the human mind in its natural state is not wired to be focused enough, to be present enough, to be the kind of proper human being that we need to be to be an effective, great, effortless, successful leader. But that's what we're going to talk about in the next video.